Hello everyone, this is Dalton coming at you with another unboxing video today. Or well, in this case, unbagging if you see the bag. Um, this is a package I recently received today from Miniature Market. And I decided to make a video of it. Um, this was during their 40% off sale on D&D and Pathfinder minis. So I do know what's in there and I just decided to pick up a bunch. Um, first on the bag, we've got us a Crawl Winged Warrior. I really do like the sculpts in these little bad boys. They are from the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica set. Which, as you can see in the background there, I do have a book for part of the book being a background. I always like to use the books there as some background there. Just a nice little, you know, literature showing that we do use the books and not just minis. Um, I really do love his sculpt. Really nice for a good winged bug warrior. And I, like I said, I love the flight um, stand being a nice little like uh, curvature than those little bit of sticks. They always seem more fragile to me. Um, next up, we got us a nice animal that I decided to snag because I like to get animals for my campaigns. And Pathfinder does have a lot of them, too, that are just really useful. We have us the Fire Pelt Cougar. A nice little yellow dot eyes there, so just to give that nice nighttime feel to it. Um, nice little bit of uh, back color there. Very simple in the sculpt, but, you know, simple sculpts like this are really nice. Could be a nice companion to someone in the group, like sort of like the Panther was in the uh, Castle Drist expansion or uh, board game that came out. I know he was uh, kind of supposed to be a character companion or something like that. Okay, next up we have a rare, more rare mini from the Pathfinder series. The other two are more common like that. We have the Beautific one. I think I said it right. Or Beatific one. I thought I keep saying Beautific, but it's Beatific. A uh, nice uh, goddess looking thing with a nice little uh, older school weaponry here. Obviously a nice six-armed goddess basis. Like I said, I don't know about much about her. Maybe I'll have to do some Pathfinder research for her stats to try and change them over to D&D more. You know, a nice rare mini. Supposedly she's rare, so I was like, what the heck? You know, I grabbed a pretty good amount of rare minis. Anything that was rare there at the time, I was like, anything I don't have that's rare, I was like, oh, snag one. Why not? Uh, next up, we have a really cool reptile, man. One I've been on the fence about getting for a while, but since he was on there, and it's the... Oh, let's see if I can say this right. Ophidian, 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 I think it's Ophidian if you say it fast enough, but he's a nice looking crocodilish monitor lizard man, and he could be a lizard folk warrior, he's got a nice uh, weapon here, nice, uh, really nice sword actually, nice design, with a nice back sheath for it, a little bit more, he looks a little bit more on the belly dragger side of uh, walking around, so, you know, interesting lizard folk-esque monster. Probably a little bit more primal than your average lizard folk, so maybe conversing with him might not be super possible, but I do love his sculpt. I was on the fence about getting him, but honestly, I like his design. This is one of those older ones that really just, I love the design, and I don't think you could really improve on it nowadays, but yeah, really cool. I really liked him. He was a common, but he was one, like I said, I was on the fence for. Here's another one that isn't really rare. I think it's more on the uncommon side, but I just grabbed him because he's a cool-looking bigger dude. I knew he was going to be a large class, so big old uh, six-armed warrior, and I sense... And I honestly got him to match her, since she's a six-armed warrior. He's also a six-armed warrior, as you can see here. I figured, like, she'd be his leader. Like, she'd tell him what to do in a fight. Really awesome. I like the green jade-ish, like, looking on the necklace there. And he is called the Calakang, number 32 of his 55 set. Two big old scimitars here. He's got pro He's definitely going to have multi-attack. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Even, like, kicks or multiple punches. I'm not sure if he's a golem. Or a construct of any sort. I think he's more of along the lines of just a special creature that's created. But really cool. I like his details. Simple details like that. But they work really well with his coloration. So really awesome there. So he has a nice Calicang. The name there. Kind of rings me when I say Calico. But, you know, I've learned to digress. Um, next up we have an Earth Shajinja. I said the right. Shajinja or Shagenja. I think it's Shagenja. But yeah, really cool mini. She looks nice. Uh, I believe it's a she. Going off like the face there, as you can see, a really nice facial details. We've got a nice little silver sword in the back. Be a nice little uh, traveling merchant. You could use her as like a merchant from the far east if you want to go with the Asianic theme or maybe Indianish theme. Maybe even make her like a sand person because like you know with her being an urchin, she just kind of looks like a sand person. Like you know one of the desert folk could be out there. Maybe she's. Or she's just a good traveling trader. I mean, she could be a nice NPC for that. She could even be a PC for the group if someone wants to play her. Like, you know, something cool like that. The next one is another Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica. It is, get him in there, 
Gerard, the Golgari Guildmaster. So obviously this is the Guildmaster for Golgari. Uh, his name, I believe, is Gerard. I just thought about grabbing him. I know he's not rare, but I thought about getting him just because he's uncommon, so he's cool. And, uh, you know, getting guild masters when you can, when you know, when you can. And it was on sale, so I was like, what the heck, I'll throw him in the cart, you know. Might as well. Um, next up, we have another big cat of the wild. We have us the Snow Leopard, which the picture really worried me because in the picture it made him look like this. We're getting that short tail, but luckily he does have a nice good long tail on him. He's a nice medium class creature. Definitely nice there. Snow Leopard, 26 out of 55. Really nice. It is obviously, as you can see, similar to the Fire Pelt Cougar in design. It's a little bit probably small. Well, probably about the same size, actually. About the same style of head. So very similar. Um, They're not from the same series, so they probably reused the sculpt and did a few mods. But honestly, I like it. I like the pink nose instead of a black nose. Gives them a nice personality, that roar there. Really nice. I mean, could be another good companion or wild animal you come across in, like, snowy environments. Just areas that are more temperate and cooler. Um, he is not a rare, but I wanted him because he's just a cool. The next up here is definitely a rare. It's supposedly a rare. It is the Venom. I think it's Diamond. Yeah, it's like Diamond or something like that, you know. Diamond or, or Damon or Diamond. Um, obviously, he's got, like, a nice octopus head. Got a weird lobster backside, because as you can see, that's like a lobster tail fanning out the bottom. If you're, you know, knowledgeable about animal biology like me, it is a cool lobster-like back here with a nice flaring tail. He's got nice pincers here, based more on a lobster than a crab. So he's a nice uh, octopus crab lobster demonish creature. Really cool. I mean, if you had a Dagon idea, maybe he'd be serving a Dagon. But he is rare, so I thought, what the heck, I'll pick him up, because he's really cool. So as you can see, I got a lot of good guys here. Let's move my camera down a little bit. Um, let's go to something else here. Ah, okay. Um, so according to the miniature market, this is another rare mini. It is like this lie Antolio, and this is from the Storm King's Thunder. Now, obviously, yes, he has this big cage on his head to help fight giants, but you know, honestly, the way I have these water creatures, maybe he hunts where you have a water campaign, maybe we can use him as a good fisherman. Like, he stands in the lower shallows of the water with these nice uh, metal legs keeping his legs protected with these nice big metal hooks on his feet to help him dig in for support. Maybe he throws these large uh, chains with hooks at the end to capture a large fish, pull it in, and he brings him up close enough where he can get him with that big hook spear, the big old spear here, and he's got the cage to protect his body as long as armor. So, you know, he doesn't have to just be a giant fighter. He could also be a nice, well, fish fighter if you really want to be. Like, maybe he fights the Ableth, and as I have an Ableth mini, we can set up an encounter like that, which would be kind of cool. It's those kind of things you can use minis for, and they have multiple purpose that I really like with miniatures. And he has a great sculpt. I mean, I know everyone wanted to rip on the other girl character that came with him in the set that was, like, hard, supposedly, to get in rare, which was the one with the lightning hook. But I thought she was good for what she was. Um, next up here we have Shaitan, or Shaitan. I'm not really sure what it is. I got her because she's also another rare. Uh, is a large class. I'm not sure what she is. She's pretty nice and colorful, though. I mean... I don't know if she's a giant class or just a really tall humanoid-ish. Maybe she's like a celest like a celestial. I have no clue. I didn't look into it. Like I said, this is a Pathfinder creature. So if you have ideas or, you know, you want to say anything in the comments below, like, hey, that's not how, what that is, or, you know, this is what the stats are for those, or if you just want to, like, say the proper thing is it belongs in this category, go ahead. I don't play Pathfinder, so I'm not that knowledgeable about Pathfinder creatures. I just look them up whenever I find a really cool mini of one. I like her design here with a nice little shield buckler there. Two blades, really nice. I mean, she could be like rogue or fighter class. Really cool. A nice uh, rare mini to get my hands on. The next one is not a rare miniature, but it is one I decided to grab, and it is very ugly little ugly bugger, you probably think. Nice uh, lizardish looking hodag. Or... Oh, yeah, sorry, the hodag. I want to keep saying hobag, but hodag. Very cool looking uh, crocodilish reptile. Be a nice swamp monster, like maybe in the swamps he lurks around, comes out of the water, grabs you, like you think it's a gator, you then realize it is the Hodag. And I mean, obviously, yes, another um, Pathfinder mini, but, you know, easily usable for this. He could be just a giant lizard, be a nice giant lizard standing, since giant lizards are a large class creature. Really cool. I really do like him. I thought it'd be really cool to get this prickly bugger. Reminds me of, like mixing a, horn a thorny devil and a giant monitor, so really cool. Not, like I said, not not rare at all. So he's not like a legendary mini to get my hands on, but 
I just wanted him because I thought, well, I'm ordering some. I'll throw a few on there that are common during this sale that are part of the like They're all part of the sale. That's the one thing. They are, we're all part of the sale. I just thought it'd be cool to snag some of them. Like, here's my next guy. And this one's more of just a joke one than it is like being useful. But, you know, I thought, what the heck? We have the Tanuki. And as you all, if any of you know of uh, Japanese lore on them, and, you know, the eight in the lore of them from the Asianic culture, they are a pretty ridiculous and funny creature to deal with, um, as they also have funny ways of getting around. So, you know, definitely would bring it up in the game because it would just give everyone, including our listeners, a good laugh. And they'd be, or maybe even a good character for the group. Maybe someone wants to be a Tanuki, where they have some Tanuki powers and, you know, technical gliding power or flight power with some magic. It'd be a cool magic caster or a monk. I actually kind of like a sculpt when I see it because his face is a little more serious looking. I wish he had a tail. That's the one thing I did really wish he had a nice little tail coming off his back, like a proper Tanuki. But you know what? I'll take what I get because he's got the nice little bottle there. The nice uh, gourd bottle. Nice little uh, almost Monkey King looking staff. So really cool. I like the Tanuki a lot. He's actually more of like one I grab for just convenient. Like, what the hell? But honestly, don't regret it. He's really cool looking. Move these around so you can make sure you can see them. Um, let's see. The next we have Snag, which is a tiny guy. Looks like I grabbed the Cobalt Mystic. I believe, yep, it is a it is a Pathfinder Cobalt. But honestly, they work for either D and D or Pathfinder. So, you know, he's a even though I find it ironic, he's a Mystic. He's got this nice big spear, almost axe, almost like a halberd looking thing. You know, I just thought he was a cool looking little uh, lizard man. Thought I'd snag him. Got something in his tail pouch. Maybe it's a bottle with like a special elixir. He's got another bottle like thing down there. So, you know, secretive like little sneaky guy. Always good to get more cobalts. You always need cobalts. Having a cluster of cobalts is never a bad thing, in my opinion. I'm trying to wade through these uh, packing peanuts they always put in here. They always put a healthy heap of packing peanuts in there. Not that it's a bad thing, because I mean, it helps with the protection of these minis, make sure they don't get broken or beat up, which I do appreciate their seriousness on that. Um, next up, we have a monodrome, which, I mean, the only reason I snagged him is I didn't get him when I did a Tomb of Annihilation unboxing. So, it is what it is, but then I got him now, so now I have a monodrome, quadrome. I don't have a tridrome, but I do have the duodrome, and a pent and I have two pentadromes, so it'd be nice to just have a nice pentadrome force. Maybe, like, you come across these guys on a routine mission from their uh, realm of Mechanus, and say Primus sent them on a mission to do some research. So, you know, I thought he was, like, kind of cool little wings and stuff. So, you know, thought, what the heck, I could use one. Order him while he's on a sale. Why not? I think that's all we got other than my last guy, which I think, yep, it looks like it. Uh, the next one up, if you give me one second, I got to put him together because he's he's a pegger, but he's a peg-based, and he is rare. But he does not come pre-assembled, which I wish they did. Make my life a little easier, but it's probably to make it so they're safer. Okay. Get that nice and tight. We have the Androsphinx. And I know, ironically, he wasn't rated very high on the website. A lot of people give him a low rating. But I actually really like his detailment. Slight Egyptian piece here with the nice uh, beard piece. He's got what looks to be an underlay of a collar from the like, Egyptian head crown collar. A nice feathery back. He looks almost like a griffin, really. Like, if you think from the side, you could actually mistake him for a griffin until you see him turn, and then you're like, oh... There's like a humanoid lionish face. And the Andro Sphinx is the most powerful of the Sphinxes. If you did watch my last video, I did get another Andro Sphinx already. Um, obviously, this one I actually like a little more because he's a little bit less headdressy and a little more wild, which is what's cool. Because these guys don't really like to be even around people. So for them, being all dressed up is just like a meh. It's like, why do I care? What are you doing in my lair? Get out. <laughs> I like to be alone to brood. Almost like a Batman, but he doesn't care about saving people, so. But yeah, nice rare mini. A lot of these, like I said, are rares. I just happen to snag for good price. Rares are uncommons, and usually a few commons, just because I could. Um, Yeah, so let's put him back here in the hodag. Since he's pretty the biggest here. Um, That's what we got here for my group. So quick zoom in here. Yeah, and that's every one I got from my order. Really awesome. I love Miniature Market when they do deals like that because then I get a chance to snag all these bad boys and add them to the collection. Um, that's all I got for your taste. Like I said, um, if you want to follow me on my YouTube channel, definitely like and subscribe down there at the bottom for Demon Overlord. 
And uh, ring that bell if you want to be notified every time I pump out a new video. And also check out our podcast, guys, for the Dice and Dummies, where I play the mighty Baldus. And if you want to get a hold of me on Twitter, where you can get a hold of me as questions about Bardis for the podcast, or just about even my channel in general, it's 01Berserker. And also, guys, let me think here quick if there's anything else. That's all I got for you, but like I said, stay tuned for any more unboxings or reviews or any, like, mini videos I have in the post out there for you guys. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. So, anyway, guys, that's it. Have a great day, and see you later. Bye-bye.